Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Fox Android. So in this video, we're going to learn how to implement a search view inside the toolbar. So let me just give you a demonstration of what we're going to get by the end of this video. So if you can see on my mobile screen, there is this search icon inside the toolbar. If I just click on that, this search view opens up inside this toolbar only. So if I type anything, for example, if I type M, only those users whose name start with M is shown in the list. So if I just uh, type something else, for example, CH. So the users whose initials start with CH are shown and everything other is hidden, right? So we're going to learn how to implement this into our Android application, right? So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for seeing the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So to start off with, we need to create a new layout resource directory. So for that, just click right click here and we're gonna click to Android source directory. So here in the resource type, we need to select menu, click OK. So you can see new resource directory has been created. So just right click on this new menu resource file. So we are gonna name it as menu only. Click OK. So a new XML file will be created. Just go to the split window. Here we'll define an item. Give it ID, action search, and let us give it a title, search, and set the icon for this. So to show this inside the toolbar, we have to set if room or Clap section view right. So okay, if I just zoom out here, you can see our search view icon is displayed inside the toolbar. Now we'll go to the backend code, and here we need to override a method on the eight options menu. So get menu inflator dot inflate dot menu and will pass the resource ID of this particular XML file right that is menu so now we'll create object of menu item class and we have referred to this particular item right So we have referred to it as a search view. So search view dot set query hint. And you can set whatever hint you want to give it to the user once the user click on that icon. Now we'll provide certain methods search view dot set on query text list and inside this So here we'll get two methods on query text submit and the on query text change. So this particular method will be called once the user type in the whole text or some te uh, some characters, right? And he presses enter, then this method will be called. And once the user is typing on every change of the character, this particular method will be changed. For example, if someone is typing CH, so this will be called two times. The first one when the user presses C and another time when the user presses H. So we want to use this method and every new collection of characters will get in new text, right? So now to apply the filter, we'll go to our main activity and we'll declare our list view. 
will set the width and the height as match parent only we'll give it id of list view that is all we need to do here and now let us quickly refer to in the java file and here to feed some dummy data i'll take some names inside this string array so let me quickly do that So okay guys we have got certain users name inside this name array and now we will create a, a reference variable for the array adapter and this will contain the string type data so we'll name it as array adapter and inside this on create first we'll refer to list view using find view by id array adapter is equal to new array adapter so okay here we have created our object of array adapter we have passed the context and this is a predefined layout inside the android sdk simple list item one and then we have passed this names uh, array right this array we have passed in context here so let us set the adapter so okay now we have set the adapter to this particular list view so now whenever user changes any text so array adapter dot get filter dot filter and we'll pass new text so that is all we need to do to implement this search view inside our toolbar right so let me quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if i just tap on this search icon so okay if we type anything for example ch so we have got all the users with ch as the initials let me type something else so here you can see all the users with m appears up so I guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our Android application and I also hope that you guys have understood the code. In case you have any doubt you can always ask him in the comment section or you can DM me on Instagram. The Instagram username will be there on your screen right now. And if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving the notification of the upcoming videos. So that is it for today's video. See another video. Bye.